to it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you are going to witness this in real time because we don't exactly have it figured out yet. Welcome to the 2024 Summer Games Fest Draft. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. So how do we want to do it? So how many slots do we each want and of what categories? Because we're going to have, like, ones that are, like, for sure, like, are very likely. Then we're going to have ones that are, like, I could see it, but it's not – likely but then we have ones that are like pipe dreams like very unlikely so three different categories how many how many of each category do we want to pick for summer games fest i thought we ta uh, said like talked about like six each uh that was for xbox we, we talked about we, oh. we talked about uh... a lot for xbox i don't know i mean there's gonna be a lot at summer games fest it's gonna be, i'm, like, I'm gonna hours. say I i'm gonna say Three, two, and one. Okay. So three, absolutely likely, like, could almost guarantee is going to be there. Two that are like, I'm going to guess it's going to be there, but it could very well not be. But then there's, like, one that's like, I doubt will be there, but what if, you know? Yeah. So I think, I, I, I think we're going to do that. Okay. That, that, um, that sounds good to me, man. All right, so I'm making the list here on my phone now. And then are we also going to try and guess release date? To give us an extra point. T to give us an extra point. I, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, we'll do that. So if, if we're confident that it'll – if – and we're going off of what the trailer at the show is going to say. So if the trailer at the show says 2025 and we guess 2025, mm -hmm. then we get a point. But if we guess 2025 and it says, like, early 2025, we don't get the point. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we have to be pretty much what the trailer says. Now, yeah. the only exception is number of days – do not count. So, like, if we say October 16th for, for a game, and it just says October, that's fine. Because, like, it's almost impossible to guess the exact day in a month that a game's going to come out. Yeah. But it, So, if we guess uh, October, and it's October 24th, we get a point for that. Yeah. So, all right, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, but then we could also guess no date. And if there's no date, we, we get a point. All right, so heads or tails to go go first. Uh, I'm all about the head, baby. All right, flip a coin. Are you kidding? It said, "Bruh, hold up." <laughs> what? Hold up. Uh. Hold on. Oops, it rotated under the bed. <laughs> Roll a dice. Er, oh wait, no. Roll a <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin. Yes, roll a, roll a dice. One through six. What it Tails. Uh Okay, so it's So you I go first. first. Okay. Alright. I think that's fair just because uh I think I went first last time we did this. So we can choose these in any order we want. So if I, I, I want to start with the pipe dream, I don't know why I would. I can start with the pipe pipe dream. But you you, you have to classify what category you're, you're putting it under. And I think if we say a game that we're like, that we'll be like, eh, it could be, but it might not be. You know what I mean? Like in that middle section. But like in my eyes, that's like an absolute shoe in We'll debate about it to see if it's valid for that or not uh all right but for my absolute shoe in like um i'm i'm pretty pretty confident it's gonna be here for my first one uh i'm going with borderlands 4 okay and i'm saying a 2024 release date dang i'm gonna say I, i'm gonna say more specifically September. 
Because I can't just say 2024. That's that that's too easy of a guess. Unless yeah. it literally just said 2024, but I don't think it would just say 2024. I think it would say a month. Yeah. Or oh, I could say fall, fall 2020. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm going with se September 2024. So yeah, that that's my first pick. Borderlands 4 September 2024. And that is from one of my shoe-in categories. I man, I I'm I'm really trying to hone down on some, but I don't I don't know because the two that I really want to I want to I want to hit the landing I'm not 100% confident on because they have multiple projects so it's like oh screw you Xbox because most of the things that I think I'm just thinking like they may be at the Xbox thing because I would love to say Silk Song mm. uh but I think X. I think I think Xbox got to lock down. Yeah, I mean, man. Uh, a lot. Okay, lock in. Um, or you could do like a pipe dream. Whatever, whatever you want. Okay. I. Oh. No, because Ubisoft forward. God, dude. Mm. I know. I, I had some. I had. Some, I had some cooking. I had some cooking. Say it'd be easy. Oh no, because they have like forty-eight things in development. I'm going. To... <laughs> I want to say Sonic something. It's made sense. Sonic because Exeter. there's I I I could see that or something because there's there, there's some other things I've also seen like that could be in development. Uh, do I have to be very specific? Like, what do you mean? Like, do I just, like, could I just say I think, like, Sonic in some way could make an appearance, you know? Or do you uh, really no. Perfect? Yeah, I'm going to say specific. That that one's too broad. Like, like, I would say the only exception would be, like, if you said, I think so Sony Bend is going to show right, their next game. Screw you know it. I mean? Screw it. I, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. I think Elden Ring DLC is going to be here. Hang on. Wait, when does it come out? I was about to say, that's, that's what I'm looking up. Wait. <laughs> because, wait. like... Oh, wait. It's, like, next month, right? Never mind. I take my answer back. I was about to say, like... If, I mean, I I had a well, no, longer. you you could, but it it it'd probably just be an ad in the show, which technically would count. Like it'd be during the show, but I don't think it, they'd have like a whole segment for it. I just think, I think it'd be like a like a trailer, like comes out tomorrow, like so, something like that. Dude, I have no idea. All right, I'm I'm not even gonna go like confirm. I'm just gonna go pipe dream. Oh, no PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh I hate every game I'm thinking of. It's literally. Man, I I, I really took the uh, I, I really took the the only good answer, I guess. Dude, they're 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 good answers, man. It's just like, I I want to win. <laughs> Uh, Dude, we really could see my, anything at the show. That that's the thing. Well, yeah, show. and and my thing is, I I need to. I feel like I'm also thinking it's gonna be like the greatest thing ever. Like, but it's usually not. No, like, it, it's, it's usually it's okay. Good, yeah. But um, hmm, man, my heart. Okay, Capcom. I'm just gonna take a wild guess for Capcom. Ooh, okay. All right. It could be RE9, I don't. Would they pick Monster Hunter? They did it. Oh. 
They Ooh, did it at the game. They, I see what you're cooking. They did it. They they did it at the game. Awards. It has a 2025 release date. So. That might not be a bad shout. I just I I can't decide if it's RE9. Like I feel like RE9 would be so smart, but would PlayStation would they make that like one of the stars of their show? You know, I I I think PlayStation would personally, but I don't know why I'm ha- ha- helping you. You can make whatever decision you want. The these are our guesses. Man, oh! I, I think we might have to switch around our category. I think we're, we're gonna do two, three, and one because like there, there, there are way more games of like it could be there, but it probably won't be. Like it, it might not be. Yeah. Then like absolutely, it's gonna gonna be there. There's not that many that we can like guarantee is gonna be there. Like, yeah, that, that's a lot harder. I'm just really, I'm just really trying to guess with Cap because I know there's not a lot, and they're gonna. Be there, and unless they have an actual thing, because I'm gonna I'm gonna say Monster Hunter. I'm just gonna go with it. I think what uh what what, a, what category? Gonna... Like unlikely or likely? I think it's or impossible. I think, it'd be pretty like, I, I think it's pretty likely. Okay, I agree. I agree. I, I would I would. Say so. Monster Hunter Wild. Alright, it's, it's a good, it's a good pick. It's a good pick. Um, if dude, I, I can tell you right now, it, if it, if it is RE nine, I'm I'm rioting. Well, you may have the chance to guess that next because that is not what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go for one of my unlikely spots. I don't think it's impossible. I like, I don't think it's a pipe dream. I'm thinking of a company that will definitely not have their own showcase, and I don't see them being a part of someone else's. And it was at the Game Game Awards when it was first announced, and we haven't heard of it in a long time. My unlikely pick is Wonder Woman. Okay, I thought about it, um, but I don't. I don't know. It it's weird because also they could show like Iron Man, or they, there's a lot of other things they could show as oh, well. Yeah, which EA. Is- oh my God, I didn't even think. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing is like Ooh. EA is you never know like your haze light question I, mark 2021 was it takes two that's like a whole three years ago I would say that's a pipe dream though I ain't gonna lie because we haven't heard of anything about that so I don't that that that's like a shot in the dark low key Bro, you got, you got the gears turning, bro. That would be awesome. It'd be at the game. It'd, it'd be at the game awards, though. I, I feel necessarily. like he's. It, they're just too known for that, you know. I. Uh, so you're going with Wonder Woman? Yeah, I went with Wonder Woman, as one of my unlikelies. Okay. Unlikely? Okay. Um. I don't think it's likely, but I don't think it's impossible either. Yeah, so so basically, like, the way this is going is, like, basically unlikely is just, like, it could. we don't think it's going to be it there, but, but if it's there, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not confident in it being there, but, like, I could see it happening. You know what I mean? Like, one of those. Yeah. Man. This is so hard. Go, you know re- re- go Resident Evil 9, so you're not upset that you didn't do it. <laughs> no. I... Hold on a minute. I'm going to throw out a curveball that I just thought about if this is... Okay. Unlikely... Give me Replaced. Because it's it's been at Gamescom, it's been at the Game Awards. It, I mean, see, I I, mean, I, it, I I would make the argument that I would consider that more of a likely category. 
But yeah. the, I, I'm, I'm okay with it being unlikely because it's also an Xbox game. So it, it, oh, it, it really? could show up at Xbox's show is the thing. So that's why I'll it's say... Wait, yeah, wait, it, wait, it's wait. it's an Xbox game. Yeah, it's similar to Stalker. It's coming to Game Game Pass Day One, and it was originally announced at uh, the Xbox Showcase. Oh, I had no idea of that. Yeah. So it's whatever you want. Do you want to put in your in your likely or unlikely? Oh man, that's hard. I'll I'll say unlikely just because you said that, mm -hmm. and, I, and I am looking at this like I do see like Xbox has had two trailers like throughout the years. I'm pretty like, sure they, like I'm pretty sure it's a, technically an exclusive to Xbox. Yeah, I'll I'll do I'll do unlikely. Okay, I think. Cause that's the thing you have to think we we can still guess Xbox stuff, but put it as un unlikely. You never know because. So, yeah. because, like, if we think about it, like, Last of Us Part 1 was at a Summer Games Fest. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was at Summer Games Fest. And that's, like, PlayStation stuff. So. Yeah. But it's just, ah, it's just crazy to me. Uh, okay, my next pick. Hmm. Ooh, I wonder if Marvel 1943 could show up again. I doubt it, but it could. <gasps> Wait, does this have a date? Uh oh, hold on. I may have my like. I may ha have a li likely Loki. Oh, uh, but whose showcase will it show up at? I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm going with this one. I'm, I'm also going with this one because this is one of my most anticipated games. So if I am right and I get a point for it, it's going to feel really good. My next, my next and final likely spot, meaning I'm very confident it'll be there is visions of mana. Okay. Because it was at the Game Game Awards, and it has a summer 2024 release date, mm. but no actual date. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, I think it's going to get an August release date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you haven't been, been giving dates, but by, the, by the way. Dude, I... I've Monster Hunter Wild. Just, just take... Just take a guess. When do you think uh, Monster Hunter Wilds will release? 2025. Uh, August. Uh, no, August. <laughs> They're not going to announce uh, oh, a month no, in no. next year. Um, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> we haven't even reached uh, August of this year. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wouldn't get a release date. Um, I mean, it'd be like early 2025, summer 25. Like, like, I think it's going to be like summer. Give me June. You really want to put a, a month on a 2025 game. Is that what's not what, – well, I'm pretty certain it's 2025. If, They've literally if, confirmed if, if, it's 2025. Yeah, but like if, 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 that, if that's what you think will be on the trailer, June 2025 – no, then, it's not okay, going to be on then, there. Well, then you won't, you won't get a point then. <laughs> 20, okay, whatever, Doug. 2025. Okay. There you go. And then re replace. Mm -hmm. Date. Oh, replace. Uh, bro, who knows? Uh, mm, will it come out? No, next year. I th I think early 2025. Yeah, I I think it's so weird. You never know. You never know with that studio because it's also a Ukraine studio. Ooh, uh, and then man. for my um for my Wonder Woman, I'm putting 2025, just flat out okay. 2025. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, All right. Okay. 
it's you now your pick. I had Visions of Mana for August of 2024 as my second Dude. and last likely slot. Both of us have yet to use our pipe dream. And we have each used, or I've used two unlikelies. You've used one. You are now on your third pick. I feel like it is so unfair to say what I want to guess. I want to keep it so simple with Sega. I want to say Sonic only because I think, but I can't figure out what it would be. But you know what my heart tells me to put in unlikely? But I, I, I feel like it could... One of the new IPs that Sega announced at Game Awards. You mean the re- I, you mean the revived IPs? Yes, I think one of those could show up at at this. That's a good choice, but you have to be more specific, buddy. Oh, so I have to guess out of four options, which one's gonna be there? We're guessing out of like a hundred options right now. Crazy Taxi or Jet Set Radio. Which one would they pick? Dude, I would be furious if I picked one. They're like, yeah, we just picked from, the other one. From what I've heard, I'm pretty sure Crazy Taxi is a little farther away, I think, from what I've heard, but I could be wrong. Really? That's what I've heard. But, I don't know. That's pretty likely, though. I, I ain't gonna lie that one of those revivals will be here. It's a good shout. Actually, I could see that uh, Sh- Sh- Shinobi game. That one revival. It's so hard. It's so difficult. Because, like, every game that I think of, I just think is going to be at something else. And that's my issue is, like, when I think of Capcom, I'm trying to think of what's not going to be at there. The reason I picked Monster Hunter is because, like I said, RE9 is going to probably be somewhere else. I mean, that's their big flagship, unless they're just like, no. Um... I could be like, oh, Pragmata, but it's been at every Capcom event thing that they've had. Okay, I will um, I will allow you to put Sega Revival game, if, if that's what you want. No, no, it's fine. I, I'll, I, I got this. I'm going to nail it down to a T. Bro, where is Devil May Cry, bro? Wait, what happened to that series, bro? You could you can Buddy. That might be my uh, pi- pipe dream, low key. Man, dog, it's Se- Sega is so weird. They have so many things right now. It's is difficult. Yeah, bro, just put Alan Wake three. <laughs> <gasps> oh, thank well. you. You just oh yes. Oh, well, wait, I up. screwed up. I screwed up. How'd you screw up? I don't have any more li- li- likely spots. And I have, like, pretty much, a, like, literally almost confirmed. Oh, yes. I, I really, I really want to try something, but I don't. What? I need to f- figure out what Ubisoft games have showed up at. But it's Ubisoft Forward. They show a lot. They gotta show one though. They they showed Prince of Persia at the last one. That was the opener. That was the opener actually. Would would they show Splinter Cell? No, that'll be at the forward. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it, it would have to be a smaller Beyond, game or like an update. Beyond like, Good and Evil Two isn't coming out. Like a uh, Star Wars Outlaws, maybe you could say that, maybe. Uh, that, I don't know. I hate that most of these companies have their own events, dude. It, oh, man, it's so hard. Okay, what have I done so far for my um my? You have likely you have likely. one likely of Monster Hunter Wilds, and you have one mm-hmm. unlikely for replaced. Okay. Uh, man, I'm just going to fact check something just to make sure I've. Dang it, dude, I messed up. I don't have, (laughs) I don't have a likely spot. Yeah, 
You, you don't have a likely spot? No, my likelies are Visions of Mana and Bo Borderlands 4. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, I mean, I, I could maybe... Conv no, I can't. I can't make the argument that this other one is going to be unlikely because it's almost confirmed it's going to be there. Oh, dang it. I mean, I guess I could just tell you because I, I'm not going to be able to guess it, unfortunately. But <laughs> What were you thinking? Alan Wake 2 DLC. Um, um, Maybe. So... Uh, Je no, Jeff Keighley tweeted, see you at the game, uh, at Summer Games Fest in three weeks. Uh, Sam Lake. Um, oh, yeah, he did. He, uh, he, he, he retweeted, like, the big eyeballs. Screw it, buddy. The eyeballs. Alan Wake 2 DLC. <laughs> uh. if, if, if you win because of, like, one point, I'm going to be, oh, I'm going to be so nervous. Uh, date for that? Uh, Do you have a date? What if it's available now? <laughs> Dude, I would, I would cream. Oh. I would... <laughs> uh, shadow drop. Shadow drop? Yep, shadow drop. Well, it didn't, it didn't what, right, but what are we considering a shadow drop? Like within like two two weeks? Within two weeks, probably. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That, that felt You're welcome. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> Watch them just show like Control Two instead. <laughs> that would be <laughs> funny, bro. That would be hilarious. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think something Xbox is gonna be here. The problem is, I just don't know what. I have a thought, but at the same time. At the same time, like, as of right now, I'm thinking, you know what? I could see it. But then, like, when when the moment happens and it doesn't happen, I'll be like, why did I think that? I was so stupid. I'm thinking uh, Starfield's DLC, Shattered Space, could be here. But I think they would do it at their event because it's freaking Starfield. Hey, you do you, man. Oh, man. Um... It, it is it, it is something. Will Kojima be at another Jeff Keeley show? I I thought I thought the same thing. I don't think he showed up at a Summer Games Fest yet, though. Is the problem? I don't think he's yeah, been at one. I ex I expected game awards, that, which is why I haven't. Hold on, whoa, 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 wait! Bandai Namco, they always show up. Little Nightmares was last year. That has a 2024 release date. Oh, but the problem is, will it be here? I'm gonna go li li Little Nightmares three as one of my unlikelies. Because I'm not too confident that's going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to say that's going to get an October release date. Because it's horror. And it's scary. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going with that. Which, releasing any game in October is always, always a death threat. But like, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, what yeah. Is it? October 2024 is my guess for that. All right, which means I have my pipe dream. No, I have no, no, I have one more unlikely and then my pipe dream. You have two more unlikelies and a pipe dream. <laughs> I. Oh. <laughs> that was a great sound. What? That was a great sound. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Bro, dude. Austin's oh, face every t he he like a every two minutes is like he just discovered God or something. Like <laughs> he's like thinks of another idea. 
Mm. I can't. I, I just, I'm going to do it. I feel like it'd be at the Game Awards. I feel like Summer it's Game getting Fest? close. It's got to be coming at sight. I feel like this would be more at the Game Awards, but I'm just going to say Summer Games Fest because Rebirth was there. I'm, I think from Midori, I think Atlas is going to be here. I'm going to go Pipe Dream Persona 6. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. It's got to come eventually. Okay. So. I. And do you want a I, release date of 2025 or what? Or no release date? You could leave, leave it blank. And that would be I a don't, point. I don't think. But the trailer would have man, to have absolutely no date whatsoever. Man, it's, it's so hard, bro. <laughs> it's just so difficult because it's like most, like I said, most most of these studios they, they have. Their I would own say twenty twenty five personally. That's what I would do. I would say twenty twenty five. Yeah, I go twenty twenty. I'll just say Persona Six. I think they need a big ender, and I think that'd be a great way to end it. That would be yeah. That would be um, a big end. That would be like, a big end. Yeah, I'll I'll say Persona Six. Also, just because M Midori, I think Midori is a, like just confirming Atlas is gonna be there. It could be something smaller, uh, which I may come to regret if it is. Uh, but I'm just I'm gonna say it's it's gonna be there. Okay, um, my last unlikely. This one's definitely definitely unlikely. But I don't think it's a pipe dream. Just because I'm pretty sure we know it's a thing. We, I just don't know if it's going to be here. It's the problem. I'm going with a PlayStation thing. Okay. And the only reason I'm going with it is because something very similar happened at the last one. Or no, two year, years ago. Last of Us Part 1 was the finale. Horizon Zero Dawn Remake. I think is my un unlikely. Okay, I'm I'm not mad at it. And then that's gonna get a. You know what? How ballsy would it be if I was like, "What if it's this year?" Because they did say no, no major first party titles until March 2025. I don't know if a remake would be considered a major title. I'm going to say early 2025, though. <laughs> okay. So now I have my pipe dream, and you have one unlikely. No, you have two unlikelies. Yeah, you have two unlikelies. God, dude, this is, this is rough. Just say GTA 6. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think about that. I don't think it's... Wait, I mean... That's not unlikely. That's a big well, that's a big finale. <laughs> that's not un Is it Oh, it's definitely unlikely. It's GTA. It's so basic, but I I guess it needs its public GTA six, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me, Daddy. I, I don't I don't think it's gonna be whoa. With a twenty twenty five release. I, I don't know. Well yeah, it's pretty much been confirmed, like fall. So, give me October for that. You 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 want you want a month. Uh, yeah, I mean fall. Well, okay, dude. I, do, I'm just trying do you want to say spicy. fall? Do you want to say it, it fall? Twenty twenty five. Well, I mean they've confirmed it. I'm not even no, just just twenty twenty five. That's it. Okay. I don't know if they're actually gonna say fall in it. They've yeah. confirmed it's gonna be fall, but would they actually be like, yeah, coming this fall? Yep. Rather just All right, that means you have one more unlikely, and I have my pipe dream. So this is where things get interesting. What do I? What would I? I also want to say, fellas, I apologize. Fellas. I will do better in the other ones. Uh, I all my knowledge is gone to these to the other ones. I know. I know, and like this one, I'm just because it's so hard. Because I I, I want to guess because Sega is like, like I said. Sega doesn't have their own showcases. Uh, and then these they always put one game in there. Like Capcom always has one game. 
Ubisoft does. It's you like, know, what would Ubisoft do? You know, we did mention one. Kingdom Hearts 4 would be kind of a pipe dream. Low key. My only fear... I feel like that's a Game Awards thing, though. My only fear is the one time they did it, it was for an anniversary. And would they do it at a PlayStation event? No, no, n- you know not what? not after just announcing they're going fully multi platform. You know, you know what I wanted for Ubisoft, but I don't think they would because it's one of their biggest. I was gonna say Far Cry. Oh my God, we could be getting the next Far Cry at the Ubisoft Forward. Holy crap! Oh, dude, that Ubisoft Forward, dude, that might be my most excited event. I ain't even gonna cap, bro. Um. Uh, Pipe Dream Titanfall 3. No. Uh, <laughs> that, that's never happening. Uh, I might go if I might go with King Kingdom Hearts low key. I doubt it. Like that, that that's a major pipe dream. <laughs> that's, that's major. Mm-hmm. Um Final Man, Fantasy I, I, 17, maybe? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, bruh. No, he's joking, he's joking. I uh, apologize so much, guys. I, I, like I said, all my knowledge has gone into these other ones. Like, I, I, I've pretty much kind of, like, really thought about what I think is going to go to the other ones. Well, but like, this, place, this is the most interesting event because, like, we literally have no idea what's going to be here. Except for Borderlands 4. I feel like Borderlands 4 is the only shoe in like, as of right now. And, and, yeah. and the thing is, like, we're doing these p- predictions and guesses right now. Jeff Keighley is known to announce games that are going to be at the show before the show is actually there. Um, before the show actually happens. So, like, we may get points but before the show even happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, GTA 6 is crazy. However, that, that, that like I I think I would have picked that if you didn't pick, pick that. I'm trying to think what Man, has been realize- what has been rumored or rated re- recently. I'm just what I'm trying to think like what, what has been rated. I mean, I know Sus- Hollow Knight was rated, but that that's going to be at the Xbox event. You said Visions of Mana, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, that, I think that's a good shout. I'm going to throw out a random one for Bandai. I'm just going to throw it out there. I just thought of it. I'm just going to throw it out. Oh, I think I know what you're thinking of. You thinking of the dra- Dragon Ball? I think it's going to be Sparkling Zero. Yeah. I'm going to go Kingdom Hearts. So I'm, I'm going okay. Kingdom Hearts 4. It's definitely not happening. <laughs> if, if that, that's, a, that's such a waste of pick. It's, it's definitely not happening. Uh, and, what, what if it did, bro? Dude, imagine that's bonus points. Automatic W. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what date. I'm. I might leave it. Leave it blank. I don't think they'll give a date. Yeah. Uh, and then you're going sparkling zero. It's the only thing I can think for Bandai unless they pick some random... Give me Sparkling Zero, yeah. All right, and a release date? Uh, This year. Holiday or, like, just this year? Just just 2024? Is, is, that, what, is that what you want? Yeah, just this year. Okay. All righty. There we go. So... A recap of all our lists, because the draft is now officially co- complete. This is a. I, I'm gonna just let you know, if some of these games come true, this is gonna be a great show. <laughs> I, I I feel I feel like I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna re-listen to this and I'm gonna be like, what, were we what was smoking? I? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, none of these can show up. I, I'm not gonna lie. I I I'd be completely. I'd completely believe if we get absolutely none of these right. Uh, so, my list contains Visions of Mana with an August 2024 release date. 
Borderlands 4 with a September 2024 release date. Little Nightmares 3 with October 2024 release date. Wonder You're Woman. You're insane for picking months. Like, of like, oh yeah, the. You know Imagine I if I get it right too. too. Imagine if I get it right. No, I'm scared because I feel like you have a lot of confidence, and that scares me. And like release dates for some reason. I don't know why you're just confident it's gonna. Well, be that well, visit Visions of Mana was confirmed to have a summer 2024 release date. I doubt they would yeah. they would release the date the game one month after they show it. Um, and so I don't think it'd be July. And August is still summer, so I'm going with August. B- Borderlands four, Borderlands three released in September. A lot of franchises usually follow trends like that. And then Little Nightmares 3 you know, is horror, so October 2024 makes sense. Uh, you know what I've realized? What? You're lame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. You kind of suck. Why? You're kind of a nerd. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Uh, Wonder Woman 2025 release date. Horizon Zero Dawn remake early 2025. And Kingdom Hearts 4 with no release date. uh, Austin's list contains... (laughs) (laughs) Bro, hold on. I already know. Listen, my list is kind of insane, bro. Don't I, I have like... Persona 6, GTA 6, I'm... Monster Hunter Wild. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's too I'm many big games. Bro, bro has bro, bro has GTA 6 and Persona 6 in his list. He bro, he he, he really thinks Summer Games Fest is gonna be a massive event. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> bro, really bro th- th- this game's gonna be groundbreaking. Holy I really this want event. To this okay. event's gonna be earth shattering. Holy crap! Please, John, can I take back Persona Six, bro? Uh, no, it's, it's over. What would you, <laughs> what would you re- what would you replace it with? All right, I'll be specific. It has to be a pipe pipe dream. Because Persona Jet Set Radio. I don't know if I consider that a pipe dream. I don't think. I think like, that's somewhat me. likely. Oh no! Oh well. Okay, I meant pipe dream is like very, very, very unlikely. Like almost impossible. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Very unlikely that. Can- Unless you want to switch GTA Six with Persona, I-, I could argue GTA Six is a pipe dream, and then you want to put high uh yeah. Jet Set Radio in that place, for uh, unlikely. Yeah, I'll do it. Screw it. Okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Just because if Jet Set Radio is there, it's going to be a hype moment for you, and it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, if one of them show up and it's not Jet Set Radio, I'm going to lose my mind. What if Persona 6 is there? (laughs) And you you just got rid of that. What if? Dude. I'm not going to lie, though. I, I, I think it's okay, because I personally think it would be at the Xbox show. That's me, personally. See... Unlike, uh, you know, the Bill Clinton kid, uh, I wouldn't have words for Jeff. I would have a, a weapon um, for What's him. the release date for Jet Set Radio? Um, I'm just kidding, by the way. 2025? Uh, or... Yeah, 2025 for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Austin's list. We have Alan Wake 2 cool. DLC with a shadow drop. <laughs> Okay, I'm just laughing because not only did I steal that from you, but just to be stupid, I was like, Shadow Drop. Shadow Drop. <laughs> you gotta Shadow Drop something. Bro, you, you you could tell your list is out of the pure hope this event is fire. <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Low key though, last year was pretty good. If you okay, when I go through this okay. list, okay, no, 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 hold on. Prince of Persia, Mortal Kombat One, uh, Remnant Two, Sonic Superstars, Liza P, uh, Crash Team Rumble, Alan Wake Two, Boulder's Gate Three, Spider Man Two, Venom, uh, yeah, Power World. 
I mean, Banish the Ghost yeah, from Eden, like Dragon enough, Gaiden. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty good. I, I do think I went a little insane. Um, But, listen. It's possible. I don't know. Alright, so Alan Wake 2 know. DLC Shadow Drop. Uh, Mon <laughs> Mon Mon Monster Hunter Wilds with 2025. Okay. Replaced early 2025. I'm, I'm okay with that one. Oh, I have Jeff C. Radio. <laughs> the autocorrect is insane. <laughs> Jeff's, Jeff's set radio. No, Je <laughs> no Jeff C. Radio. <laughs> Jeff C. S. E. E. Oh, 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 I thought you said Jeff, Jeff C. Radio. Jeff C. Radio. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like, oh yeah, I have Jeff Seat Radio. I'm like, Jet Set Radio with 2025. Drackling. Drackling? <laughs> Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero 2024. And GTA 6 okay. 2025. That's not horrible. <laughs> it, that's not. It could be way worse. I, I ain't gonna lie. It, you, you, your wildest prediction might be low key via Shadow Drop. <laughs> Not gonna get Bro, drop. I hope you realize. I hope you like. If that happens, I'm losing my mind. I'm leaving the the like if 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 it's like at the start of the show, and 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 they announce it and it's like available now. I'm leaving the reaction and I'm going to play it. Like that's it, that's just how it's gonna be. It really is stupid because it would be it, it's a horror game. It would come out around fall. Like it's just it's just likely. Realistically, I think it'd be like November. Oh, I don't know about that late. Well, that's a long wait for DLC. Well, eh, actually, no, that's considered like winter though, right? Yeah, yeah, it it, it could be. I, I I consider fall like September October personally. I would. Uh, I want to say October is a basic answer, but September feels more right. If I really thought about it, I can't do months, bro. I, I, it's so hard. To okay, play. we have Shadow Drop. It's locked in. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's locked in. You might not be. The, I don't know, bro. It, it could happen. You never know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. What? Uh, Sa Sam Lake comes uh, out, starts dancing, Sam, and is like, Sam, "Oh no." <laughs> Sam, so uh, w uh, what do you got for us? Uh, we have Alan Wake 2 <laughs> <That> DLC. <laughs> Out now. You, 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 you can download the DLC right now to experience the uh, next chapter. Uh, we are shadow dropping Alan Wake 2 DLC. The, the Dark Dimension. <laughs> 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 Wall and door. Oh god. It features a new I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just Hold on, I'm I'm sorry. What is going on right now? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I was just, I was just like thinking about what you said about like if Alan Wake <laughs> is gonna be there and it got shadow drop. This is just you. Oh no. <laughs> Stupid. No, I will lose my mind though. I will lose my mind. That'd be amazing. Uh, I. I did. I, I I get how you feel, man. Bro, I, do you remember how how I just, how I reacted whenever they announced co-op for Returnal? Do, do you remember my reaction for that? Oh, dude, dude I, yeah, I freaking I erupted. God, I just I, I'm gonna just stick with it. I love the fact that I've just been like, yep, you go shadow drop that joint. <laughs> I mean, you might be on it. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. I just always like to think there's gonna be one oh. game that shadow drop. Oh man. And I I, I don't know. Oh, dude, that, that was funny, yeah. low-key. Uh, I'll guarantee you one company who won't be at the show, and that's Nintendo, because they're never at, like, these yeah. shows, bro. 
Oh man! All right. Well, now that we've done our predictions, do we? Is there any other just like random thing we we want to talk about? P -p predictions for the show, just overall expectations. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty solid, personally. I I uh, think it's I just think, gonna be okay. Honestly, I think last year really helped because I I feel like before. I want to well, quickly check what 2022 was like. Uh, that one was rough. That was like the one with all the space sci-fi games. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. And then was, and and then uh... they and then they ended on Last of Us Part One. Yeah, oh, that was a wait, rough year. Oh my god, they did. Year. Dude. Yeah, that that was a rough one. I, I, no, I really want you to hear out this year. So. Street Fighter Six character reveal. It's just a character yeah, reveal. It's, it's still cool, but okay. Oh my gosh, this is actually like. Okay, hear me out. This is literally everything they showed within the span of an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. Street Fighter Six character reveal. Uh, Aliens Dark Descent. You know. Oh that one. yeah. Yeah. We got trolled um, so hard. We got yeah. Callisto uh, Protocol. Uh, I, I, okay. I, I still love that game. Yeah, Modern Warfare Two. Ooh. Witchfire. Okay. Uh, oh, Fort I might Solace. actually be able to play that now because I play on PC. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Fort Solace. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that game came uh, out. No Outrider, one cared. Outriders, World Slayer. Ew. Uh, Fall Guys, Free for All. Okay. <clears throat> Stormgate. Uh, Marvel Midnight Suns character okay. reveals. Cool, 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 cool. Cuphead, the delicious last course, the DLC. Honkai Star Rail. <clears throat> Zenless Zone Zero Combat. Uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Okay. Uh, One Piece Odyssey. Metal Hellsinger. Nightingale. Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. Uh, Layers of Fear. Gotham Knights and Last of Us. Yikes. <laughs> like, yeah, last bro. year was a much needed improvement. <clears throat> like, dude. 2021's wasn't bad. I remember that. They end they ended on Elden Ring, so I mean, you know. That's like a W. It's it seems like they forgot couple things to put but like still it does not compare to 2020 like yo i'm not dude, gonna lie bro think about this think about it i don't know <clears throat> what drugs jeff Keighley was smoking in 2022 they went from ending with elden ring to ending with last of us part one to then ending with ff7 rebirth like how do you take yeah. that big a dip in the middle like what yeah. the heck that's crazy you know, I, I don't know, man. I uh, I personally still think my favorite Summer Games Fest was 2021. <clears throat> it just had a lot that's that was that screamed toward me. Plus, ending with Elden Ring was just such a special moment. That was that was incredible. Oh, apparently they showed Death's Door. In 2021. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Came out in 2021. Um... So. Oh wait, no, that was for the Day of the Devs. I the way they have this uh, format is so weird. This is formatted so weird. Tiny Teen is Dude, Wonderland. Like 20, was also at twenty twenty one. I feel like twenty twenty three cooked, bro. Yeah, it did. It did. It was honestly a lot of good stuff. I, oh man, okay. It could be pretty good this year. It could be. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it really depends on what they want. <gasps> Wait a minute, honestly... I'm stupid. I might actually be onto something with Kingdom Hearts 4. Square Enix ended last time. At, uh, they did, but who's to say they're going to do it again? It could be the opener. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but it also could be Persona 6. <sighs> could be GTA 6. It could be the Alan Wake 2 DLC Shadow Drop. <laughs> I wanted to say Silk Song really bad Shadow Drop, but I think, I, dude, 
Bro, that better be your your number one pick during the Xbox podcast. You, you, no, it you, will be. No, no, you've, no. You've talked no, about it so much. It better be your number one pick. No, no. Listen, listen, John. I imagine I, I flip heads I, and I steal it. I, you're gonna have to find a new co-host. <laughs> okay. I'm not I gonna mean, pick it I anyway. Mean, I'm not. I'm, you're not. I'm not you're not going it. to. I'm not gonna pick it because you don't. Because you don't have faith. No, I. And you don't no, I think it. it's gonna happen. No, I don't know about shadow drop, but. I definitely think it'll be. No, I, I legit think it needs to happen. I think it literally needs to happen. If it doesn't, I, dude, are you not playing it? it? No, I'm playing it. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I've got ten hours in Hollow Knight. I'm no, 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 no. I'm saying because you're like it needs oh. a shadow job. I'm saying if it does, it's in shadow job. Are you not playing it? No, I'm still playing it. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> it's that a joke. Like, it's a joke. I literally, I literally have friends that have actually told me like they're not hyped for the game anymore. I'm like, bro, yeah. like. Those are people who, uh, there, yeah. There have been games that have taken, like, so much longer, dude. Like, I get it. It sucks, but, like, let him cook. Let him cook. I don't know, man. It, we'll, we'll see. I feel like my expectations is I'm comparing them to last year, and it, it could not be as great. I'm definitely more confident for the other ones because I've thought about it, and yeah. I just I feel like I know what could be there more than likely. And I feel like it's hard because every company usually lets one slide through. And, and it's weird because, like, you know, you hear... Bro, the PlayStation Xbox One is going to be the wildest. That one's going to be the wildest. Yeah. Easy. Um, and I think it's weird because, like, PlayStation, I mean, they, they've they slipped through the cracks. Like, you would think, like, oh, PlayStation wouldn't show anything, but all of a sudden they show Spider-Man 2. It's like, yeah, what? I know. Like they just they just casually put its release date at like not their PlayStation showcase. It's like okay, right? Like, right. like it could sure. it could just be something random like that where there's just a random release date. It could be. Yeah, bro. Go. Yeah, go. Shishima oh, too. you know what's absolutely gonna be there with like like a deep dive gameplay or something. What? Black Myth Wukong. That's a hundred percent gonna be there. That's for sure gonna be there. John, can I tell you something? Yeah. I wanted to say that at the very beginning, but I said it's in August, and I feel like I just don't know if they're going to show it again because now it has a release date. Well, if we look at all the past years, they do so many of those, like, updates, like MK1, uh, Alan Wake 2, all that stuff that they just, like, show it during the event to, like, give it publicity. <sighs> that that's one of the things that like Jeff announces before the show on Twitter. Like tune yeah. into the Game Wars to uh, see a gameplay, um, eight minutes of gameplay from Black Myth Wukong, something like that. I think I'm gonna get one right. <laughs> I'm gonna say two. I'm confident. Actually, I'm gonna say three. I'm confident in my first three: Visions of Mana, Borderlands Four, and Little Nightmares Three. Those three compared to Alan Wake Two DLC Shadow Drop. <laughs> <laughs> bro li listen hear me out screw you for take i was i will i will say one thing i was going to steal borderlands from you dude, so dude that, that's that's the uh, easiest shoe in that's the easy shoe in <clears throat> if i wanted to be oh if i really wanted to be risky i could have said bioshock it dude that would be crazy I could, I actually been, that would be crazy i could have i could because imagine if it wasn't borderlands and it was bioshock and i'm like How's it feel, buddy? I'll, I'll let you uh, replace replace Dragon Ball with that if you want. Or GTA. I would low-key consider Bioshock a, like, like a pipe dream. No. All right, he's sticking with border, it. I think, it's border, I think it's Borderlands Free, and I don't know what yeah. else Bandai would show. I think Sparkling Zero is... Little Nightmares. Sport. Bandai's showing Little Nightmares, bro. On my mama, I swear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna have an October release date because I'm like that. Mm. Why don't you be like one month off every time? Nah, bro. I'm I'm on the money, guaranteed. I hope you know if I get those three right, I'm literally a goat. Uh, congratulations. Thank man. you. Thank you. Appreciate this. That. Is, this this summer games fest just seems to not be my specialty. I'm all about the. 
uh, I guess I'm all about the the main company nah, events. I'm I'm still gonna win those two. Oh, oh, oh okay, but I'm letting you know right now. You may have ho Hollow Knight silks on, but it is not as 100 percent as my, my my pick for Xbox. Well, that's fine. I mean, I I got my, I got my other ones, but that's like my pipe dream. You know? <clears throat> but I I think it needs to be shown, you know. But I have my other things, and I, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident about. So um, I don't know. I I I think you've already won this one. I think, but you took a lot of the ones I'm pretty certain I'm confirmed on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I will say I went a little weird with Horizon and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that's that is that, that's definitely wild. some 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 deep shot. Wonder Woman. I don't know, but where is that game? You know what? Okay, hold on. Read my list again. Let me hear this. Let me let me see. Let Alan me see Wake 2 problem. DLC Shadow Drop. Alan Wake 2 is going to be there, not the Shadow Drop. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm so saying bad. the Shadow Drop is going to be there, not Alan Wake 2. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, bro. A Shadow Drop will be there. Yeah, they'll be like, hey, uh, for everybody who's wondering, it is available <clears throat> today. Uh, What's available? Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. Monster Hunter yeah, Wilds re replaced. I think that should be there. Jet Set I Radio, Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero, and GTA Six. I, I have a chance. You do. I could see. You do. I could see four of them. I'd have to pray GTA Six shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think so, because um... they did their own thing for it and. You might have a chance, but the problem is if I get my dates correct, that's an extra point. That's so gay. And bro, put shadow drop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? GTA Six shadow drop, baby. <laughs> you know what? How, how bad would I do it if Kingdom Hearts Four shadow drop? Make it happen. Oh man! Horizon Zero only... Dawn remake Shadow Drop. <laughs> I would not be surprised if that happened. You're crazy. I I could see it. No, there's no way. I mean, PlayStation does not want to lose that much money. <clears throat> I, I guess. Yeah, but... dude. I I'm, I'm low key. I think my dude. Honestly, right now, my least likely might be Wonder Woman, dude. I don't know where that game is. That game is like non-existent. Plus, Warner Bros. is all screwed up right now. I'll be honest, man. I hate, I hate my list. <laughs> Your list isn't that bad. Uh, if you end up winning, we are coming back to this podcast, and I'm la laughing in your face. Why? Because you're over here. Oh, I hate my list. It just means it just means I got lucky, bro. Maybe, maybe. Okay. You never know. D oh, okay. Uh, do you want to like work together and see if there's anything we feel like we could have picked better? Like we never talked about. Oh uh, no, there was Warner Bros in there. Dude, EA, them. what could they show? What could EA show? Like Haze Light might not be that bad of a guess. I just think my. Mm, I just know I want to get Haze Light for Game Awards. I am so confident in that. I want it. I don't even care. What if I want not going? No. Okay. Noted. Um, um I, I, I do think we uh, we we could see some kind of like <clears throat> Tekken DLC trailer here. Um something like that. Or Oh my god, that is so cause Street Fighter Six was Yeah. Well no no no. Street Street Fighter had yet to come out uh at, by by Summer Games Fest. No, but they they had no, but they had a a, a character reveal. Yeah, Guile. Oh. Yeah, Guile. Yeah, I remember I, that stuff. I, I I don't. Okay. Probably because uh, it was Guile. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he's he's okay. Um. He but yeah, I I I, I do I, I do think Tekken Eight could be here with like some kind of. Uh, <laughs> I do, think, uh, I, do, I, I do think Tekken 8 could be right. Honestly, do you think... Loki, I have no <clears> idea. <throat> did Like a Dragon ever get DLC? 
like seven. Did seven ever get DLC? Seven? No. Okay, then I don't think eight will then. Uh, dude, if it, <sighs> bro, if it did. Yeah, I know you would be like me, oh, me, me with Alan Wake too, bro. Can you imagine if both are there, and we, 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 uh, we, we, we both get DLC for like our third, fifth favorite games? I would love it. I would, but I just, I don't see it. But at the same time, like, I'll be honest, I would love for eight to get DLC, uh, cause, I mean. I think more content is better, but also just like, I don't know. I, I think it'd be fun, and I think there's some more stuff they could cover. But at the same time, I, I, they've, I feel like they've wrapped up everything, and I feel like they're gonna just, they're just gonna make nine instead. I definitely think like Princess Peach Showtime could definitely get oh. some DLC, uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just joking. Just, just joking. It was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> uh. Oh, get Riot Game. Oh, I wondered, would they show OKKO? OK what the heck is that? It's their uh, League of Legends fighting game. Hmm. I have no idea. You know, I could yeah. see PlayStation showing one, one, one of those <clears throat> live service games here. Maybe, yeah. I could see that. Did we ever, did we ever say see, EA? Will see, we here's the thing. If there is no PlayStation showcase and it just ends up being a lie... That I do think they are gonna be here, like with with, with something, yeah. like for sure. No. Uh, did we ever say what we think EA would do? I mean, I said Haze Lights, but I don't think that's. They probably do one of their like EA Originals type thing. This would probably be my guess. But like, I can't even think what else, dude. That's why I was saying Titanfall Three. Imagine, dude. Imagine. <laughs> Uh, uh, I I have no idea, bro. I don't know what EA would even. I mean, cause I don't think Iron yeah. Man or the Black Panther game are near complete. Personally, I don't think. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what EA is like has in development. You know. I know. I don't really know anything. They canceled one of their Star Wars games. Yeah. The next Jedi game is nowhere near. Yeah. Um. I have I have no idea, bro. I look. You think EA is like in a really like just it, dry spot so, right now? It's so hard. I don't know. I feel like they feel could like show the next Madden. Beat. You know. <laughs> I I feel like you I feel like you have me beat on this. I I don't feel very confident. I feel you. I don't. I think you're very confident, and your and like your your release dates even I think is even like terrifying. I look. You think if I win, it's because of my release dates. Really? Yeah. Cause I I do agree. I think you 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 might get three to four points because I I think three three to four of your games will show up. But I think yeah. I think my 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 release dates are on point personally. I I think I think what really sucks is like a lot of the time, like I said, for Sega I would usually pick Sonic because usually he's at a lot of Jeff stuff. Yeah. But I if I heard more Sonic I X Shadows is probably gonna be there. But the thing With is, the release it, date. Was also, it was also at the PlayStation. Yeah, but that, that that's a state of play, though. It's it's just an advertisement. Oh my god, you're so right. It comes out in the fall. There's not going to be anything else. It's going to be there. I threw. All right, well, end the podcast. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. All right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, okay. <laughs> well... <laughs> thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed it definitely like yeah this is going to be the end of the podcast though um very fun um there are our summer games fest predictions for the most part oh wait uh, do we think any kind of like hardware is going to be here because i remember one year they were uh they announced the halo infinite xbox series x all right bro i have no idea um, like, I uh, probably not. Yeah. Well, anyway, that uh. is gonna do it. I don't know what else could really be at the show. Um, 
Yeah, it. I, I have a feeling we're, we're in for a lot of like just random surprises. Is my guess. Um, yeah. I, I think it's gonna be maybe, a very uh, random show. Yeah. Um, maybe Foam Stars Two. That's a possibility. Legs. <laughs> we could get legs. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Suicide Squad kissed the Justice League. Imagine if they show like the next character for that game there. Oh, oh, Lord. the amount of hate that would get. Yeah, bro. Oh, so you know what might might actually be there because it's getting a lot of advertisement right now. Uh, mul- multiverses. Yeah, but I I don't know. I dude, I they I'm not gonna lie. That game, a, that, that game had a lot of hype, and uh, oh man, I don't like it anymore. I really, dude, have you seen it? No. Bro, it is so slow. Like, it, it, it is, like, it's like grandma agonizing slow. <laughs> like, they've, they, no, they literally, like, changed, the, like, the. All I know is, like, uh, Jason Voorhees is gonna be in it, which is kind of, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a Jason shirt right now. Wait, what? Yeah, Jason. Did they show that in the new trailer that he, came out? Yeah, he, he's, like, standing right next to Joker. Oh, that's funny. I know it's pretty cool though. Like I, I, I Loki just want to try him out. Like if, like when it comes out, because I love Jason. <sighs> I, I haven't watched that trailer, so I don't know. I um, I, I don't know. I, I'm definitely not as interested in it anymore. It's just because it looks do, so slow. Ooh, do we think we'll get some kind of like TV or movie adaptation like trailer? Arcane? Uh, no, I don't think we're <laughs> it. It comes out this year, November, I think. That'll be or... at like a net. That'll be at like a Netflix event or something. Yeah, probably. I um, I could see. I don't know. Last of Us. No, uh, maybe. It's yeah, possible. I don't know the happen though. I think it may be next year actually. Oh, uh, but they could do it early. I would, hmm, Sonic, uh, Sonic? No. I think that's too early. Oh my god. I think it's No, because it's in December. This December? Yeah, this year, December, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is supposed to come out. Oh, snap. Oh. And it was at, what was it at? It was, it's been there before. It's been. It was at game, it was at the game, game, game awards. Sonic the Hedgehog can... 2 was at the Game game Awards. It's po- honestly, that might not be a bad shout. Yeah, yes. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. That might be, right the, now. That might be the, the, the Sonic thing that shows up. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has a release date of December 20th, 2024. Hmm. Well, then, yeah, I definitely think we could see it there then. Well, yeah, dude, I it just. Oh, that means we might get the go Keanu Reeves. Oh, dude, as Shadow. Oh, my gosh, dude. Up, bro. Uh, dude, I am so high, dude. <gasps> they are, dude, listening. no. It's going to be a double advertisement. Sonic x Shadow and then Sonic the movie with Shadow. It's going to be a freaking double advertisement, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say I threw for Jet Set Radio. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep and go cry because I just fumbled the bag so hard. I'm going to wait until 12 so I can pre-install Hellblade 2. <laughs> Sorry, just I'm I'm too excited, dude. Loki, should I, should I just pull old nighter and play it now, dude? Imagine, that'd be crazy. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just, just stupid. I'm just sad. Yeah. 